An important skill that needs to be developed is how to spot deep fakes and synthetic data that may have been created by AI. In the past, what has been recommended are specific things when we're looking at deep fake videos as far as things associated with mouth movements or the background or maybe consistencies with the face. Those are all great things to look for, but the reality is that now AI is becoming so much better that it's almost indistinguishable from real life, and it's getting to the point where you really can't tell. To combat this, we now have the TRAP test. The TRAP test is an acronym, and it stands for T-R-A-P. Each letter represents a certain way of thinking, because that's the, the big part of this, is that this is now a mindset, a mindset of realizing that any type of digital media can now be created by AI. So it could be synthetic, it could be a deep fake. By having this mindset of going through the trap test, that will help to prevent us being susceptible to scams or deception by this AI, possibly AI created media. So here we go, the trap test, the T, the T stands for thinking critically. We have to have this critical awareness. We have to question any digital text, any digital audio or video. We need to develop this mindset of ensuring objective truth within the reading, within anything that we're seeing, whether it's a video, an image, as well as anything that we're hearing because synthetic AI created audio is also now freely available and it can be created very easily. So that's a major part is thinking critically and asking these questions. The next part here is R. R standing for realistic, reliable, and reputable. Does this seem real? Is it likely to be occurring? Is the source of this reliable and reputable? Is the source credible and trustworthy? That's gonna be a major part. We have to not just look at the image, oh, this looks real. No, we have to look at where does this actually come from? Where's the originating source? Is this something that's trustworthy? Have I been able to rely on this source before? So that's the big thing is, is this a reliable source? So that's an important part of the overall trap test. The next part is A for accurate and authority. Are all parts of the media accurate? Are there any inconsistencies? Does this correlate with other things we know? Is the source an authority? That's a big one to really think about. Where is this actually coming from? It's one thing if it comes from somebody that just posts something on the internet, but we have to look further and deeper as far as where's the actual source coming from. So this means that is this video of, let's say the prime minister talking, has this been released from the actual government? Is this coming from the ministry, from an authority source, or is this something that's just being posted randomly by somebody on social media? Uh, along with that would be, are there multiple sources that are authorities that are presenting the information, meaning that they're authority representing this? So is the source credible? This all ties in with this. All, all of these overlap, but that's a big part is looking at the original source. Where is this coming from and can it be trusted? The next one is P for purpose, propaganda. What is the purpose of this media? Is it trying to sell me something, to change my view or vote? Is it propaganda? Is it bias? Is it misleading? Is there more to this story? That's the other big part is to really thinking about, okay, I can't just be viewing this video or this information in isolation. I need to look beyond that and see what is the rest of the story. Are other news media agencies covering this? Is there multiple sources that are all good sources that are all saying the same thing. That will help us to determine whether this is real information or synthetic made up propaganda. Putting this all together, we have the trap test, which again is another tool to help us with overall AI literacy, to help us understand, well, what is the actual truth and what might be deep fakes or synthetic data, something that's trying to mislead. By using this trap test, incorporating it with our overall AI literacy, We'll be able to make sure we're seeing the objective truth, help our students understand and be able to fight against deep fakes and fight against these type of scams. This infographic is available on the Center for Teaching and Learning website where we have tons of information all dealing with different aspects of AI literacy and AI integration into education. Thank you.